Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC review. I just watched episode 5 of The Penguin and man oh man I am starting to lose any affection I had for Oz as he goes on this rampage to take over Gotham. And that's what should happen, he is a villain so it's good that he's really acting like it. In this episode he was absolutely diabolical and it's a mix of greed and desperation. He wants to take it all but things keep on messing up and he's becoming a bit reckless. This is definitely the most unhinged we've seen him, but I have to say, whilst I did really like this episode, I think it may be my second from least favourite episode of the season so far. It was a little slower and wasn't as gripping as the previous episodes, apart from the first one. I feel like the stuff with Victor and Oz's mum was a bit too slow for me and not much happened and was really taking away from what was really interesting with Sophia and Oz. For me, I would have cut those scenes right down just to what was actually needed and then let us spend more time developing the story with Oz and Sophia's storylines. The issue is, with them now being the two main characters of the series, is that we're now having to spend equal time with both of them, and that means I'm not fully satisfied with either character arcs in this episode. But the events in this episode were still very shocking. Oz brutally killing Moroni's wife and son, and then Sophia killing Johnny and forming an alliance with Salvatore Moroni. It has really set up a mental next episode. I thought at two points in the episode Salvatore was going to die, and I would have been really disappointed if he had. He's such a big crime boss and to see him go so quickly would have been a real shame, so I'm glad he's sticking around. We now have the two largest crime families coming together to take down Oz and then take over Gotham. Now I'm sure some betrayal at some point will happen and another twist in the story will occur, but for the time being I am intrigued to see where they go together, and overall I would give this episode an 8 out of 10. Now today this will just be a little short review for this episode as I don't think there is much else to talk about with it, so I will leave it there for today. So make sure to let me know what your thoughts are on this episode in the comments below. But that is all for today's review. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.